It's that uh, Sam Altman will now officially return as CEO. Then back as CEO of OpenAI, bringing an end to this dramatic standoff and employee revolt. A very fast moving and dramatic last 72 to 48 hours. And I want to start with the state of play. You know, on Friday morning, uh, we were very excited, committed, and confident in our innovation roadmap to bring this next generation of AI to our customers. Well, Sam Altman is now returning as CEO of OpenAI nearly a week after he was fired in a stunning twist from the company behind ChatGPT. The termination of Sam Altman is regarded as a pivotal moment in the history of artificial intelligence. It's not just about the manner in which he was dismissed from OpenAI but also about why it may not significantly affect whether he joins Microsoft's AI research team or returns to OpenAI. The focus is on the potential for Microsoft to become the most dominant player in the AI realm, irrespective of Sam Allman's role. There is a showcase of OpenAI employees expressing solidarity with Sam Allman and Greg Brockman. Over 90% of employees signed a letter to the board of directors demanding their resignation due to mishandling the termination process. The lack of confidence, judgment, and care for the mission and employees prompts many to consider resigning and potentially joining the new Microsoft subsidiary led by Alman and Brockman. Prominent figures within OpenAI, such as Mia Marathi and Ilya Suber, express regret over their involvement in the board's actions. The critical role of Microsoft in this scenario is highlighted with Satya Nadella's potential to wield significant power in the AI landscape due to Microsoft's substantial investment in OpenAI. Various theories surrounding Alman's sudden termination are explored. The disagreement between factions within OpenAI, Elon Musk's departure and funding withdrawal, and the restructuring of OpenAI Global are discussed. EMT Shear, the new CEO, debunked the safety versus speed theory, pointing toward a different rationale behind Alman's dismissal. Allman's plans to raise funds for AI-related chip ventures that could compete with NVIDIA and collaborate with Apple's former design chief, Johnny Ives, are highlighted. The potential firing of Allman due to stretching himself too thin with these ventures, neglecting CEO duties, and managing expectations poorly is speculated. The narrative shifts to Microsoft's advantageous position and how it might benefit from Allman's firing, especially if he chooses to join them. Conversely, if Allman returns to OpenAI, it could result in significant changes within the company, potentially reshaping its structure and governance. The monologue concludes by emphasizing that regardless of the outcome for Sam Allman, Microsoft stands to gain substantial power and funding. Allman holds the cards, and Microsoft, under Nadella's leadership, is strategically positioned to partner with Allman for AI advancement.